Well, good morning, folks. Welcome along to the vlog. Today is Saturday. We're not in the brewery, but I do want to talk to you guys about some brewing related things. So, what I thought I would do because it's approaching six o'clock and I'm going to cook myself some tea anyway. I'm home alone and Gemma's taken uh, the kids along with some friends of the family's children to the cinema to watch the new Toy Story film and uh, well I've only had an egg butty this morning so I thought I'd cook myself a nice stir fry and I'd do it on camera while I kind of wax lyrical with you guys about some brewing things. So first of all let's talk about what we're going to cook. So I'm just going to start heating the pans up right now just to make sure that we are making a mess make sure that we are cooking so what we're going to do today is uh, this is not sponsored by Morrison's by the way a sweet and sour stir fry which is going to include some beautiful vegetables so we've got some vine ripened toms some sugar snap peas, some mushrooms some baby sweet corn some spring onions and una bell pepper multicolored one which is nice we also have over here some bean sprouts we won't be using all of those just a handful we have some a nest of egg noodles and we're going to probably use a quarter of a tin of bamboo shoots as well normally i would have alongside that some water chestnuts Okay, I just need to find the can opener. We'll get this lot opened. First thing I'm going to do is just pop some water, which is pre-boiled, into this wee pan here. And we're just going to drop that nest of noodles in there. And then at the same time, I'm going to put some, just a tiny splash of oil into that pan and that pan. Oh, and I forgot also the main ingredient. <laughs> I do this every time. The main ingredient is... That's two lean turkey breast steaks cut up. So we'll get them in there. They can start to cook straight away because the meat and the noodles may take a little bit of time. And then while we're doing that, we will get the mushrooms and the pepper into the other pan. Now I really like the mushrooms in a stir fry and I could put hundreds of them in so while I'm doing this I did say I wanted to talk to you guys about something brewing related well as you may or may not know over the past couple of weeks I've mentioned on the vlog about getting a pilot kit for the brewery and I've been doing a lot of research I've listened to a lot of suggestions and I've also been extremely tempted by kits that kind of you know other people have such as what Tom's got for instance he of course has the uh, the fantastic SS Brewtech uh, pots so I had a look at uh, Homebrew Builder uh, Angel Homebrew uh, several other several other homebrew supplies and um, well there was only kind of one that caught my attention and that was the homebrew builder uh, because they had the high quality pots and the high quality uh, thermo pot in there so if I'd have bought two of the high quality pots and the high quality thermo pot it would have set me back about 500 quid so that's before taps elements you know everything else that need to go in there so I actually had a look at um, where they were made and they're Berglund, Berglund pots, Burgund pots or something like that. So what I thought was, I'll see if I can go direct, it's a German company. I had a look direct 
They've got a eBay page, you can go on there, buy things relatively cheap, you know. Uh, probably 30, 40 quid a pot cheaper than what you're getting them on Homebrew Builder. But, this is the crux of it, you see. You're going to have to ship it from Germany. And that shipping is probably going to put you on a similar price threshold as what you would have paid anyway. So, I don't think it was worth doing, frankly. So, uh, I continued with my research. That's probably a few too many sugar snap peas there, to be honest. So yeah, I continued with my research. And, uh, well, I was struggling with the idea. Oh, we've lost a tomato. Just give him a quick rinse, pop him back on. I was struggling with the idea as to whether we go for like a a normal uh, five gallon homebrew system or do we kind of up the stakes a little bit and expand our capacity to maybe a hundred litres but then of course we're not really doing test batches then it's still is quite a big batch of beer and uh, to do just a small five gallon batch of something would mean you'd be under utilising the amount of brew space that you had in your brew kit which kind of defeats the object we can do that on the main big kit anyway can't we so yeah after reflecting some time I decided that probably the best course of action would be to punt for something in the middle around uh, a, a maximum batch size of about 60 litres but we could easily brew something down as small as uh, 20 if we wanted to. Not that I could see why we'd want to brew at 20, because if I'm going to do anything in the brewery that is kind of, uh, you know, uh, test batch size, then of course I want to be able to basically fill a cask or a keg, and that's around 30 to 40 litres. So, with that in mind, I looked again at the homebrew builder pots and uh, priced them up for that size. They didn't have everything in that I wanted, uh, but it looked like it was going to cost me probably in the region of £500 still for the three pots. And then I went onto the malt miller's website. Now, we've not mentioned the malt miller yet. So the Malt Miller's website is where Tom bought his SS Brewtech pots from. And I really do like those pots, you know, he brought them over, we did some welding on them, put some uh, tri-clamp fittings on there for his elements and what have you. And uh, I thought that they were really good quality pots to be honest. Um, I had a look what they had available and frankly there was only the... Uh, 20 gallon available in uh, in stock which was probably a little bit bigger than I wanted to go but they had the 20 gallon thermo you know SS Brutec thermo pot kind of thing there and two of the SS Brutec kettles at 20 gallon I think puts us at around 70 litres or thereabouts so yeah I was really really tempted um, and then recently Tom, I don't know if he's put it on a video or not, so this might be a bit of a spoiler. Um, he's recently bought uh, one of the 125 kilowatt 70 plate chillers from Malt Miller. So while I was there on the website, I had a bit of a chat with Tom. Uh, spoken to Craig as well, because he's looking at buying a kit. And... Uh, well, we came to the conclusion that I should push the button on it. The only drawback was it was close to a thousand pounds for the SS Brewtech pots times two, uh, the thermo pot or the SS Brewtech mash ton, 20 gallon. That was almost 350 pounds on its own, I think. And then uh, I went and punted for one of the plate chillers as well. So, I had a look on the Patreon page, 
you guys have been fantastic over the past few months and your support has allowed me to make this purchase so I pushed the button on it we've ordered the SS Brutec kit we don't have all the equipment for it yet there are going to be some modifications to come oh hello such as uh, we need to fit elements, whirlpool ports, I need to order some pumps. All this kind of stuff is going to come in the future. But, long story short, thanks to the support of the patrons, we have been able to acquire now, or at least order, a brand new 20 gallon homebrew kit. And this means that over the next three or four months I will be able to compile all of the equipment in order to put together a bit of a mini series as to how to build your own SS Brewtech uh, brewery. I'll also be building a brew stand for this as well. So I think it's really exciting. I have you guys out there to thank. Big thumbs up. Thank you very much. I think I should just uh, drain these noodles, maybe. I'll just give them a minute longer, actually. So yeah, thanks to you guys and the support of everybody on Patreon, we are able to build another brew kit, folks. So yeah, I'd like to say a big thanks to everybody out there who support the channel. And, uh, well, it's down to you guys. Why we started in the first place, and now it appears that it's down to you guys. Why we're going to carry it on? Turn the wrong hob off there. So yeah, I think that's brilliant news all around. So I've just about finished up here now. Look at that for a stir fry, folks. You've just got to put the sauce in. Sweet and sour saucer, baby. Doesn't that look appetizing? Hey. There's probably enough here for two. I promise I won't eat it all. I promise, governor. Oh, it looks very good. Oh, in case anyone's curious. Uh, these are the egg noodles that we used in there as well, just the blue dragon ones. I normally buy the fresh ones, but it just completely slipped my mind today. So let's get them off the heat. Get them drained. And we'll throw them in. There we go. Toss it all around. And we're ready to plate. So there we go, folks. How do you like? Don't want all them. How do you like them apples? Come on, lad. What do you think to that, folks? Bit of, bit of stir fry for me tea. There we are. So thanks for listening to me waffle on, guys. We will see you uh, next week on the vlog, Monday. Probably just be tomorrow for you. And uh, yeah, I'll sit down and enjoy this. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon because there's going to be some SS Brewtech Brewery build videos coming up soon.
we'll see you then. Cheers.